All right, so today we are going to do the soffit. We're going to try to finish this whole end, uh, get it trimmed out, getting ready for the glass to come. Yeah, let me get my, hang my gun. Okay, I think I'm gonna go. So we'll, we'll tuck, put the uh, fascia side in. So I'm gonna just be holding it with the palm of my hand, Here. basically. I got it held up there. So up. Up more? Yeah, up uh, two inches. Another inch. Another inch. Wes? Uh, okay, that's, that's good. Wow, you're all stretched out too. Mm -hmm. I can't uh, if that would stay there, that would be great. Sure, done. There's one. Are you able to switch the ladder over and bring up one on the hutter side? Sure. On the hutter. So I, I gotta get my. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to go up a, maybe a foot. Okay. Coming up. Shove it. We'll let it down a little bit and then shove it again. Yeah, shove it. Oh, that's perfect. Now what? <laughs> okay. So you think of, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you nail it, that would be awesome. Done. That's a nice fit up here. I like that. I've been can, will it slide down at all? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then back up. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we have a game plan here. We have, we have music to work with today. So the perimeter of all of this glass is going to be one by four. The center pieces will be one by eight. That way it gives um, a half inch all the way around for the glass to come and sit in against. Should be beautiful. Kind of a pain getting up here. I wish I had the lift. Oh well. I don't need that. I'll be an hour or two. I'll be up there soon. I feel like a circus performer. <laughs> now in the center, center, whatever. Ah, uh, yeah. You got you got a, a grip on that? Stay. Stay. Perfect. So we're continuing to outline the perimeter with one by four. Yeah, a little more. Oh, that looks pretty straight. Right there. Perfect. There. Yeah, yeah. 71 and 14 sixteenths. Wow. That's a test for Dan. We'll see if he gets it. <clears throat> wow. Okay. So you missed it. 
we had to be creative to get that last piece on because we don't have the lift here. So we had the, Dan had that ladder pulled out. Uh, I got up on the step ladder and we pushed it up, pushed it into the wedge and it fit perfectly. So now we're just putting the ladder back. I'll go up and nail the top. You think? Sure. Oh. Where's it going to go? Yeah. <laughs> it'll certainly stop when it hits this, and then it'll just slide. Wow, it's another five feet up there. <laughs> That is such a nice fit. Well, oh, not bragging. <laughs> okay, can you shove it uh, or hold it there? Yeah, hold it. That's done. Wow. We are calling it a day. We got this trimmed. We still have a lot more trim to do here. Maybe tomorrow we'll get the French doors in. Ooh, la la. Oui. Parlez-vous de français? Français? How about this one? Je me souviens. That's what we see on the Quebec license plates all the time. I think it, it means we remember. Is what I was told, if I remember right. All right, well, here's an update. Not really good news. Uh, met with the glass people yesterday. The glass is the wrong size, so it's going in the dumpster. Probably $9,000 worth of glass or so. Uh, when I I emailed the measurements. I had written written everything out to the exact rough opening, rough opening. Uh, so there was a miscommunication somewhere uh, at their at their office, and it, the the glass got made the actual measurements of the rough opening, which means it won't fit in the opening. Typically, a rough opening indicates that the glass will be a half inch less than that. And so the, it was just a miscommunication. However, so uh, when I spoke with them, they said, well, the glass is going in the dumpster <laughs> because it doesn't fit. And so they'll make new glass. And so I had two questions right off. How much longer will that take to get it? The other is, who's paying for this? Um, they, I've dealt with them before and they are super. I just want to say right out front that they are a super outfit. Um, mistakes are made and, but they, uh, it, it was on their end and they were, they were just super. They were willing to, uh, replace it, do the, do the new glass, uh, at their cost. So it doesn't cost me or the homeowner anymore, uh, other than maybe a month for them to make the glass and then come and install it. And we're, we're going to help them when they come to put it in. Uh, so that's, that's where that is. It's kind of a, a disappointment. Uh, the, the homeowners are, and uh, they have a carpenter friend that's going to finish the interior. We're not doing any of that part of it. Uh, so it won't hold them up because they're doing tongue and groove pine, or shiplap pine, the entire building inside, it's just going to be so beautiful. Let's spin this around a minute. The plumbing is all roughed in. They finished that yesterday, so that's done. Uh, so it's kind of quiet here today. It's just Chad and I working. They are, uh, let's see, so next week, today's Thursday, so next Tuesday, the electricians are coming for two days and they're going to rough in, rough wire everything. Then they'll be gone. Then next Friday, the spray foam people are coming 
and they're going to spray this. They think they can do it all in one day. Uh, if they'll allow me, I'm going to try to video it, some of it, just to, so you can get a feel for how spray foam insulation works. The tip, these are uh, two by 12 rafters. I'm not sure what they're putting in there to, to attain their R values. Uh, it's two by six walls, so wh whatever they do, that's what they do. Chad and I are going to put up a temporary handrail up here because you can't do the final one until uh, all the finish, uh, like the shiplap is up. That has to all be done before the finish handrail goes on. So something temporary just for safety's sake. And let's go back and look around here again. So we started on the handrail. We have two vertical posts here. We'll run two two by fours down and a two by four on top for a top cap, a top cap. And then we'll run two rails over that way and a top cap, I think. Yep. I wanted to show you one thing with the stairs, how we supported this cantilever. We have a two by six, two by eight up there where we notched in and we notched in about four joists to support that. So that's got a lot of strength there holding it. And as you can see, there's plumbing in All right, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Please hit the, the like button if you liked it. Watch it again if you liked it. Leave a comment if you'd like. Thank you.